Okay guys, we are continuing. This time we will install Visual Studio Code and uh, some useful plugins for it. That's why we go to its uh, web page and uh, for on Ubuntu we will take uh, the Debian file. We'll save the file and we'll open up the terminal. So we go to downloads and we can just type sudo dpkg-i and the archive. So this will put uh, the needed uh, signature for auto-updating uh, Visual Studio code as well as it will install it on our system. The Visual Studio code should be installed. We can just type uh, code and we can start uh, the editor. And now here inside of the Visual Studio code, uh, we can install some extensions. Yeah, we can install Angular snippets, which is recommended. Then we can install linting package, uh, TS lint, and uh, we'll click on install. And then we'll install auto import which will help us while we are importing files. We're just installing it. And for now that's it. So this is the editor and uh, we can open up a terminal. So if we go to the desktop directory, we see that we already have one project and we can open up uh, this project uh, in our editor. So we go to desktop and then select this directory and we can see the files here reloaded within our Visual Studio code. We can see all the node modules of the project and the source folders where our application resides. And those are the different uh, uh, files we can of course edit. And uh, we can see the nice highlighting uh, Visual Studio code offers. So this is a sample project. Uh, if we open up again uh, the terminal, we see that we are inside of the project directory and we can type ng uh, surf, which will automatically run in the server in memory in background and will interpret and compile the code. Uh, so we'll be able to run it on our local machine. We are seeing the optimization of the content and uh, the different JavaScript files and their source maps Angular uh, has created for us. Also, it has opened a local live uh, development server on this address. So we can just uh, go to our browser and uh, open up uh, this address. So it's on port 4200 and we see our application here. Uh, from the Visual Studio code, it's interesting that here this uh, title, we can modify it very easily uh, because uh, actually this title is used uh, within our template. So this is the variable title and uh, we are using variables uh, from the template. Uh, we are these uh, double brackets here. Uh, so we are grabbing it from the component. And when we change uh, this to new title and click out and S to save the application, we see that automatically here in the terminal, a compile operation will uh, complete and uh, it will just compile the changes. And also when we go to the browser, we'll see that uh, automatically it has refreshed our preview within the browser. That's it for now, how a Visual Studio functions and how we can edit files and have a live preview within our uh, browser. If you enjoyed the lesson, please subscribe uh, to the channel for more. We are seeing the optimization of the content and uh, the different JavaScript files and their source maps Angular uh, has created for us. Also, it has opened a 
local live uh, development server on this address. So we can just uh, go to our browser and uh, open up uh, this address. Here, this uh, title we can modify it very easily uh, because uh, actually this title is used uh, within our template. So this is the variable title, and uh, we are using variables uh, from the template. Uh, we are these uh, double brackets here. Uh, so we are grabbing it from the component. And when we change uh, this to new title and click out and S to save the application, we see that automatically here in the terminal a compile operation will uh, complete and uh, it will just compile the changes. And also when we go to the browser, we'll see that uh, automatically it has refreshed our preview within the browser. That is for now how a Visual Studio functions and how we can edit files and have a live preview within our browser. If you enjoyed the lesson, please subscribe uh, to the channel for more.